Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I am going to show you how to decrypt the iPhone 4S firmware. In very simple terms, this is going to allow you to access SSH, this is quote unquote as a common jailbreaker would use, SSH to an iPhone 4S root. So that means you can access slash applications, slash etc, slash stash, slash whatever. That means that you can access all those frameworks that control Siri. And that means that all those people who don't exactly jail make jailbreaks can port Siri. So uh, that's actually a very reasonable because people who are very good with DNS hacking or something, uh, disguising, stuff like that, they may not know how to jailbreak an iPhone for us. So that allows people to get there. Um, this is going to allow people to get the Siri files. So I'm going to not show you how exactly to get those Siri files. I'm going to show you how to get that whole entire iPhone root. So what you're going to need for this is VF Decrypt. And uh, this is a program, very easy. Um, you can get this in the description below. And uh, it's called VF Decrypt. And it's just a uh, terminal file. It's like an application, but it runs through terminal. So, And then the other things you are going to need is iOS 5.1 beta 1 so this is for the iPhone 4s link in the description will be there and for some reason if there isn't um, because I can't uh, it because it's not exactly legal you know kinda like that um, because it's copyright and stuff if you cannot get that down there um, I say go to Google you search 5.1 beta 1 download and you will find something so once you have all these things downloaded, it's just two things. Um, you're going to have the firmware uh, VF Decrypt, this folder right here. I'm going to just extract it. I have it just in a folder to keep this stuff organized. And what you're going to do is, uh, if you have a DMG, you're obviously going to open open it. And if it just downloaded to an IPSW like this file, then you're even more set. Um, if you have the DMG, just go ahead and drag this range right of that folder. That way you can go through this. So um, what this is doing is so that we have the IPSW. If you don't know what an IPSW, you're kind of in trouble for this video in a way, but the IPSW is the restore file for iTunes. That means if you were to restore your phone in iTunes, it uses this file to reload your operating system. So here we go. We got this right here. Now we don't need this DMG anymore. I would still keep it uh, there. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click enter and we are renaming this file right here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and say ZIP, which is zip file, archive, um, that kind of thing. And then we're going to click enter. And now it's going to ask us to use a zip. What's this, what this just did is allowed us to do an archive. This way we can actually extract it now. So if we go like this, we're now ext extracting that IPSWs. Of course, all this stuff in there, um, in the actual e IPSW, is somewhat encrypted. But um, the reason why this, we can actually do this now is because um, there was actually uh, some part wasn't encrypted and allowed us to decrypt the operating system. So this may only be in beta 1, but we can always access this beta 1 firmware. So that's very, 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 very good news. So right here, we will have this right here, this folder, and then we'll still have that zip. What we're going to do is open that up. And right here, um, you're going to want to be viewing this in this list view that we can you can see that there is a 787.4 megabyte file. Um, file sizes can vary, but um, it's you're going to want the biggest one. So you're just going to want to kind of point that out, make sure you know where it is. Okay, and next thing we're going to do is we're going to use terminal to decrypt that stuff. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to go to our folder that um, organizes everything. We're going to go to your VF Decrypt, so it's VF Decrypt right there. And then we're going to go to this file. We're going to drag it into our terminal window. So right there it says where this VF Decrypt file is. So that's file directory. It's very simple. Next we're going to do is a dash i command. And this is going to tell us where this DMG is. So um, this is going to be, we're going to go over here and then to the iPhone forward comma one IPSW. Uh, this is the extracted one. Go into here and then we see that we have the biggest uh, DMG right there. And uh, from there we see that, we can see that it's 784. You may have to change your views from here to here. Make sure it's the list one. You can see that it's the biggest one. It has to be the biggest one. And then from there, you just want to go ahead, drag that up to there. So drag that. So now it tells you where that file is, that DMG. Next we're going to do is we're going to do dash 
repo. And we're going to do decrypted. Make sure we spell that right. That's very important. Underscore fs dot dmg dash k. And now it wants us to put in our uh, decrypt key. And that's this big long thing right here. So uh, looks very complicated. It's, it's really not. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And boom. There is your line. Now we click enter. It's going to do its thing. If you have a faster hard drive, it's going to go obviously um, a lot faster. Because what it's doing is it's breaking down that file. It's running code. It's decrypting that while making a copy. So we're, now we're going to go over to a Sheridan, which uh, is my home directory. So that means if your login account is admin, you go to admin. So this is your home directory. And then you're, you're going to see this decrypted FS DMG. So uh, what's easiest is we're just going to drag that over into our uh, folder that organizes everything. We're going to open up that DMG, uh, depending again, depending on your uh, speed. We can go ahead and skip that, and then this will open. And then, boom, there we go. We are at the root directory of an iPhone 4S. So that means if we go to System, Library, and we got all this stuff, and uh, I don't exactly know where the Siri bundles are, but all those private frameworks are in here. So that is awesome for all these people. Um, we'll, we can actually probably find it right in here, but it's um, it's really awesome that we can finally get this operating system and we can finally break it down. So that means that a jailbreak could be soon, and also that other guy who doesn't know how to jailbreak an iPhone or doesn't know how to make a jailbreak for the iPhone for us can make a Siri port. So guys, I hope you like this video. I hope it was definitely helpful to those people who don't know how to make their jailbreaks but they could definitely help in the C report. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as well, always check out iOS4life.com. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Tech, And check out all the goodies down in the description. Like it and comment. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.